All right. <clears throat> we got 11.2 coming at you. Area of parallelograms. And we're also going to throw in some triangles there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, given varied information, right? That's code name for we're not just going to give you the easy dimensions. You finna going to have to work for it. All right, here we go. Area of a parallelogram. I don't know why all the titles are in white or whatever. Like, as you see, it's like weirdly missing up here. I don't know why. I'm not going to worry about it. Anyways, this is for the area of a parallelogram. Um, base times height, just like a rectangle. However, you got to be careful, guys. Uh, what do we always know about base and height? They are always perpendicular to each other. All right. I am going to give you problems where I give you this length right here and this length right here. You'll be like, oh, just multiply them. No. you got to find your actual height and multiply it to your base. Okay. They always have to be perpendicular. Write that down. Moving on. Well, that formula looks easy to read. Um, let's rewrite it. Area of a triangle is equal to one half the base times the height, or base times height over 2, however you want to write it. Again, our base and our height are perpendicular, hence the little box there that's kind of shifted over. Again, I don't know what happens in import sometimes. It works well sometimes, not always. All right, 1 half base times height. And some of you might be more comfortable dividing these up into rectangles and triangles if you don't remember certain formulas, like when we get into trapezoids and stuff like that. Um, breaking things up into triangles and rectangles is always a good move, if... You forget specific formulas. All right, let's find the area of the parallelogram. Oh, my goodness. It's like I called it, dude. It's like I've done this before. I am giving you the base and then this little slanty piece, side length. That's not my height. My height's got to be perpendicular. You know that. So if this were multiple choice, 55 would be one of the answers sitting there. Probably letter A to be like, hey, yo, bro, do you know what you're doing? And then you circle A, and I say, no, you don't know what you're doing. Okay. So it's not 55. we got to do a little more work than that. I'm going to jot this 5 over here, though, um, and maybe use that to figure out what this height is. And I guess I'll call that H instead of X because I need my height. My base is 11. What's my height? Um, ooh, the 60-degree angle there, right? This is a 30-60-90 triangle with 5 as my hypotenuse which means that 5 over 2 is this guy right down here, which is across my 30, and then this is my root 3 side, 5 root 3 over 2. So my height is 5 root 3 over 2. Gosh, that's terrible looking. My area is base times height, right? So if I plug those in, I'm going to get 11 times 5 root 3 over 2, 11 times 5 root 3 over 2, or in other words, 55 root 3 over 2. And I'm going to leave it like that because I don't have my calculator on me, and that's meters squared. All right, cool. Uh, generally, we will leave them as exact reduced fractions, radicals, um, when we're dealing with, like, mathy math problems like this. If it's an application problem, you're finding the square footage of a building, and, I'm, you know, you're, you're working with things like decimals, that's okay. Uh, but for the most part, in our class, we're going to stay mathy math and do reduced fractions and radicals. Here we go. Find the altitude of a parallelogram with base 12 and area 96 square centimeters. Well, if I draw this out, we're saying I've got a base of 12, my area is 96, and I'm looking to find my altitude, right? This uh, 96 seems like it's the altitude. It's not. I'm just going to write it off to the side. Area is 96 centimeters squared. Um, well, isn't the area base times height? So 96 is equal to my base of 12 times H. I'm just going to divide by 12. I get H, which is my altitude, is the same thing as height. Forgot to mention that. If we forgot, so that height's going to be 8. Awesome, and that is centimeters. Boom. H or altitude, there we go, 8 centimeters. That was wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Is this a, another ratio problem? It is. In a parallelogram, the base and the altitude are the ratio of 10 to 7. Remember, altitude is another word for height. If the area of the parallelogram is uh, 1,120 square meters, find the length of the base and the altitude. All right. So area is equal to base times height or base times altitude. I'm going to leave it as height so we don't have multiple A's going on. 
All right. Um, and then the base and the um, altitude are in a ratio of 10 to 7. So let's just go ahead and draw a little picture of this. Uh, base is 10x, altitude is 7x. So multiply those together, right? So I've got 10x times 7x. Ooh, that's a weird 7. 7x. So that's 70x squared. In my area, we already know is 1120. 1,120. All right. So we got to divide that out to get my x squared alone, and then I can solve from there. So I'm going to divide by 70. Cancel those bad boys out. 112 divided by 7. Will that be 16? x squared equals 16. And then to solve for x, square root, x equals 4. How wonderful to be a perfect square. And it could be negative 4, but um, when it says find the length of the base and the altitude, we see it's 7x and 10x. Obviously, putting a negative in it is going to give me a negative answer. So my height, or my altitude, altitude is 7 times 4, which is 28 uh, meters. And my base is 10 times 4, which is 40. There's my two answers. Cool, cool. Not the too bad. But as you see, a lot of common things come back. We got our 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90. We've seen ratios. All this stuff keeps coming back here. You can, you're can you never safe from anything in honors geometry. Anything can come back to haunt you. Find the area of an isosceles right triangle with a hypotenuse of 4 root 2. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to make an isosceles right triangle, which is a right triangle, congruent sides, hypotenuse of 4 root 2. Well, if you remember, isosceles right, well, then aren't both of these going to be 45 and 45? So this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Divide by root 2, and I get 4 and 4 for my two sine lengths. Those two are perpendicular. That's like my base and my height, right? Um, so I've got area equals 1 half times my base of 4 times my height of 4. They're perpendicular. As long as your two dimensions are perpendicular in that triangle, that you, you can use them as your base and height, right? It, we couldn't do 4 root 2 and 4 because they're not perpendicular to each other. So your base and your height have to be perpendicular to each other. Okay. So I get, what is that, 16 over 2 is 8 centimeters squared. Again, I had to remember my 45, 45, 90 triangle in order to do this, to get my other two side lengths. Here it says, find the area of an isosceles triangle with the side lengths of 10, 10, and 16. So I'm going to draw it like this, 10, 10, and 16. Now, do I know if I have any right angles here? No, I don't, right? I do not know if I have a right triangle or right angle or anything like that. So here's what I'm thinking. I know in an isosceles triangle, if I think back, you know, because I've taught this for six, seven years now, so obviously I, I know a lot of things about this and I remember things. If I drop an altitude down, it's going to bisect this side into eight and eight. Okay? So now I have a triangle that I'm dealing with that's just eight and ten. I got to find this missing side, which is my height, right? Well, again, if I think back, oh my goodness, this is a 6, 8, 10 triangle. That's just a 3, 4, 5 that's been doubled, so my height is 6. Look at that. You just got to remember a whole bunch of stuff. That's all, kids. Just don't forget anything, and you'll be fine in this class, right? <laughs> all right, so my height is equal to 6. My base is equal to 16, and I'm going to find the area now, 1 half equal or sorry area equals one half times my base of 16 times my height of six um since i'm doing this without a calculator i'm just going to cut this down to eight and that guy away so eight times six is 48 and that would be i guess units squared okay again guys i just gave you the secret to this class just don't forget anything look at that write that down don't forget anything don't forget stuff boom you get an a then all right last problem here find the area of the triangle below Ooh, look at that 30 degree angle that triggers my memory to think hey this finna gonna be 60 okay so it's a 30 60 90 triangle 
On the side across from my right angle, in case yeah, I went too fast earlier, we'll recap it. This is my 2x, this is my x, and this is my x root 3 across from the 60, right? So this guy is going to be half of, of 8, which is 4. This is going to be my 4 root 3. Well, the 4 and the 4 root 3, those guys are perpendicular to each other, right? That's a base and a height, basically. Area equals 1 half base times height. So 16 root 3 um, times 1 half would be 8 root 3. Looks like centimeters squared. Dunzo! All right, there we go. We got some homework. Um, I wouldn't pay attention to this aspect because those things obviously change with snow days and things like that. So um, these videos are reused year to year. Uh, but anyway, so check your, your local listings, uh, your calendar on the... Uh, Power School Learning, or whatever website we might be using in the future from when this uh, video was recorded. All right, have a lovely day, children. America Freedom, Rock and Roll, Costco, and River Dog Jenny. At River Dog Jenny. IG. That's your best move right there, kids. You're going to see that cute pup, River Dog Jenny.